When you teach a man, you teach a community. When you teach a woman, you raise a nation. So we know that our mother married a great man. <laughs> Betty Shabazz Memorial and Educational Center transforms the site of our father's martyrdom into an oasis of support for the ongoing struggle for social justice. Our mother, Dr. Betty Shabazz, one of the 20 dynamic African American women included in the Smithsonian's Freedom Sisters exhibit, was integral in the uh, pre preservation of this building and the overall planning for the center. Her goal was to retire here where she would continue her work preserving the integrity of her husband's legacy. Dr. Shabazz often said to her six opinionated daughters, just as one must drink water, one must give back. She worked very hard to give us his vision of equality and justice for the world as brothers and sisters under the fatherhood of God, and we thank you very much for having this exhibit here. This is the year of the international, this is the international year of people of African descendants, which has not been sufficiently publicized in the country or globally. On Monday, December 5th, 2011, the General Assembly of the United Nations and the closed meeting will be discussing the issues of the elimination of racism and extending the international year of people of African descendants to a decade. These 20 women we are celebrating are just grains of sand among the many women throughout history who have committed their lives to freedom, justice, and the emancipation of all peoples. These women are pioneers, were pioneers. As Fannie Lou Hamer said, they were sick and tired of being sick and tired. My, my father always said, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And my mother picking up the baton and continuing the struggle would say, am I clear? <laughs> the youth today are not clear, but thanks for, to her clarity and her vision, and all these freedom sisters, this exhibit will inspire young women and men to reach for ex excellence in humanity and social justice. It is appropriate that the freedom sisters are gathered together in the house that Dr. Betty Shabazz built, who, who with all of these phenomenal women, led the way that all of us must continue and must fulfill. Thank you.